Good evening, um, my name is Vicky O'Brien and I've been volunteering in various ways with Roots to Wellbeing probably when it started actually, um, which was over a year ago now, well, yeah, about a year and six months ago I guess. Um, I just wanted to do a small video to share for Mental Health Week um, around what has really helped me during this lockdown. Um, because, well, there's been some days that have been really tough, which is the same for all of us. Um, and I'm not even working out in the front line, so, you know, I really appreciate that I'm lucky to be at home. Um, so what has worked for me? Now, honestly, what's worked for me is focusing on the positives of this lockdown. Um, that does not detract from the negatives, it's, it's not about being deluded into thinking everything's fine when it's not. But if I think about the positives, um, for me, this has forced me to reflect on things that I was neglecting in my life. It has forced me to look at myself and to get rid of some of them demons. Um, and it's been really nice to spend more time with my child, you know, who has actually been amazing. She's just like a little light. So um, the things I've enjoyed doing are making chocolates. Everyone loves a bit of chocolate. Well, most people do. Um, doing something called poi, which I will do a video of and show you soon. Um, and what else have I done? Oh, I've written some new poems and actually performed one, which was really nerve-wracking. Lots of, like, stuttering before it started. Um, I've connected with people that I wouldn't usually connect with or had neglected before this time. And I'll tell you what else I've done if I've really needed to. Just go to bed. If I've wanted to just go and get in bed, I've just gone and got in bed and just rested and switched off. You know, I feel a bit emotional actually talking about it. <laughs> um, I'm really lucky to have a really good supportive network of people around me, especially as being part of Roots to Wellbeing. So um, Linda teaches EFT and just before this happened, um, we had a first meeting of Happy Clapping happy tapping clapping group um where she taught us some techniques which she'd taught before but kind of really just clarified more and sent some links which has been really helpful um and my mum has been really good my family my sister has been a godsend <laughs> um locking into kayo who does meditations brilliant people people have been just really stepping up and giving stuff for free on the internet um doing readings for people sharing their knowledge uh, sharing their good energy all of that's been really helpful too um letting myself cry if i've needed to cry and i've cried a lot <laughs> i've cried a lot buckets i think like i've had oceans in my eyes i'm surprised that we haven't had to go swimming in the house i've cried so much actually um Taking time to just sit and be with the animals. I've got two cats and one of them bought a mouse in the other day actually. That was really funny, trying to get that out of his mouth. <laughs> a bit horrendous. Um, doing decorating, pushing myself forward to do stuff that I had definitely been meaning to do for months and months and months. Nearly having meltdowns while doing it because there are some things that I'm not great at such as cutting the bits of wallpaper over the plug sockets. Um, what else has really worked for me? Working on new projects. I've done some training, some online training, which has been a godsend as well. Um, done some like life, what do you call it? The people that are life coaches. Br found a brilliant life coach, um, William Whitecloud, who has put a free course on and is just brilliant. And also connected with a local comedian who is so funny. She just actually makes me roar. Just She just talks and makes me laugh. And so we're planning to put on a talent show for local people to just submit their videos to entertain each other and show their skills, really. Maybe maybe they found a new skill that they didn't know they had or learnt a new skill. So 
just to share it, just, you know, giving people space. Watching people's stuff on Facebook that they share as well about their daily life, even if it's just their dinners, you know, I definitely am not a Facebook feed snob when it comes to what I see in terms of people sharing stuff about their pets or their kids or their dinners. I love it. You know, it's real. And I think that's what this video is about. It's about being real and honest, saying it's okay to have really crap days, moments. It's like being on a roller coaster, isn't it? One minute you're up, the next you're down. I feel like, I said the other day, I felt like I had my own mood swing or that there was a giant that had a yo-yo and was just bouncing me up and down. And I'm sure we've all felt like that. You know, those times when we watch the NHS and how much they've done and the care homes and the even the shoppers and the cleaners, you know, the people working in shops and the cleaners, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I think I've said quite a lot now about what's really worked for me. Um, I think, lastly, actually, what I'm going to say is exercise. Because I'm rubbish at exercising. I say I'm going to. I think, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna get out there and exercise. And uh, I have all these good intentions of going for that jog. But really what I do is drink some wine and eat chocolate. And then I, I'm just, you know, unhealthy when I walk up the stairs. So this lockdown, I've been on the trampoline with my little girl. And we just had such a laugh. That was fantastic. And I've been for two jogs. I think most people probably would say jog on. But yeah, two jogs. And uh, I've also done a few planks, um, a bit of a plank, and uh, some some of them things that where you sit against the wall. Um, my daughter and I did that as a test to see how long we'd last for. So not as unfit as I thought. <gasps> and oh my god, I think there is one last thing: my harp. My friend makes these amazing harps, and I'm so lucky because um, I was able to be part of sisterhoods that she's got together in a group and she's made this beautiful incredible harp and so I'll just show it to you quickly it's a lunar harp and it's stunning I don't know if you can you can't see very well I'll just put it up there look at this baby this bad boy and you just so it's out of tune at the moment but I've been having a little play with this and I feel so lucky and blessed to have this. Music's really helped me. Um, so, yep, yeah, I've got actually a gong as well. And um, my friend's bought a drum and it's beautiful. It's like a tongue drum. It sounds amazing. And he can really drum as well. So one day I was sitting in the front room doing my ocean of tears again. And uh, he didn't know because I was hiding it from him. And um, he just was practicing his drum in the garden. It had just come. And all of a sudden, these sounds, amazing sounds, just floating in from the garden. And I felt better immediately. Just like, yay. So that, all of that has got me through. And I'm really looking forward to hearing about what has got you through. And just remember, it's all right to not be okay. It's all right to be feeling like you're lost and you don't know where you're going and that, you know, everything's falling out from under your feet. It's all right to feel like that. You just take a moment and catch yourself and breathe and reach out to people. Don't don't be alone, you know. Just share what you're doing, share what you're feeling and um hope this has helped you in some way. Thanks, bye.